Hey friend, in my day-to-day -day life I'm running two machines setup. I'm using PC and MacBook Pro in parallel and switching between them in my daily workflows. Let me show how I'm using EVM switch to do that seamlessly and keep my desk clean and organized. I have connected to this EVM switch my external monitor, stream desk, microphone and speakers and everything is switched by one click on the button. Uh, this is not sponsored video but I have to say that TestSmart sent this EVM switch to me for test but they have no impact on the content and if you are in notification squad you definitely see this video before then. <laughs> so following is my honest opinion about what I like and don't like in the switch. So in the box we have KVM switch itself, power brick and the cables you need to connect your two machines and two monitors to it. I'm using 16 inch M1 Pro MacBook for all the programming work. Also Mac is go to machine when I am editing my YouTube videos or photos. Even I prefer to use Mac for most of development and content creation tasks. There are some aspects where it does not perform good enough. Gaming on Mac is still a joke and I have gaming PC to play games. Also, it is very useful to use the power of gaming PC for live streams. While I'm doing all the programming work on the Mac, I can stream the process on the Twitch without spending Mac resources for that. Two machines means a lot of cables and that's where KVM switch comes in to help keep it organized. When I'm using just Mac and working on my own, I'm using my two external monitors for Mac, but as soon as I decide to jump to the streaming, I'm switching to the Windows. And with single click on the button, I can switch my external monitor from being connected to the Mac to be connected to the PC. My microphone automatically switches between Mac and PC. When I'm streaming, I would like to have this microphone connected to the streaming PC to use this uh, microphone for communication on streams, but when I'm just working and I have meetings and all that stuff, then I'm using that microphone for meetings. And KVM helps me to switch immediately between machines. I still use two keyboards and two mouses. Even I could use a KVM switch to switch mouse and keyboard between machines. I found that I quite often I like to use both machines in parallel and then it is handy to have keyboard and mouse for each machine. Even though there are tools to switch between them, for example, Logitech Mouses supports more than one connected device. You can switch between devices even without KVM. MX Keys Mini also supports multiple devices, but I prefer to have two mechanical keyboards. More is better, right? <laughs> I'm using this setup for a few weeks already and I have to say that I have no complaints about configuration like this one. Benefit from that are obvious, you have less cables, you need only one HDMI cable connected to the monitor and cables from the computers are connected to the KVM and KVM becomes like central switch for all the connected devices. That makes cable management easier. Also, I try to connect my external camera to switch camera between Mac and Windows. Windows, it works, but here we have a problem. Current KVM switch that I have supports only USB 2 connection and USB 2 connection is not the fastest one. It is totally fine to support connected microphone, stream deck also as soon as I'm switching between machines, stream deck connecting to the right machine. When I'm enabling streaming mode on Windows, Stream Deck is connected to the OBS on Windows. When I'm switching back to Mac, Stream Deck is connected to the Mac and I can use it for my productivity task. Those works fine. I'm using my EOS Air camera for live streams and uh, basically as my web camera. And that provides quite a lot of data. And if I am trying to use this camera throughout KVM, it works but I see how frames are dropped. It will be okay for zoom calls, you will not see the difference, but if you would like to have the best quality possible, then better connect camera directly or wait until TestSmart will release switch with USB 3 support. This specific QM supports up to two external 4K 60Hz monitors. That's plenty and enough for productivity and programming work. If you are a gamer and you have faster refresh rate screen, so you will have problem with that. You will be able to support only up to 60 hertz. That's another con that I should mention. There is a remote also provided that comes in the box, but it comes without batteries. 
<laughs> so I don't even try and bother to try to use that remote. It works seamlessly and fast with this button on the KVM, so that's good enough for me. Huge improvement for the setup, less cables, faster switching, more convenient use cases. Is that necessary part for programmers setup? Well, <laughs> I will say no, you still can pull out the cables from one machine and plug in into the another machine, but it is way more easier and more convenient to have switch to switch between machines for our perif peripheral devices and monitors. So mm, yeah, I would recommend if you can afford it, take a look for, look for something like that. Okay, thank you for watching. If you have any questions, ask in comments below. Bye.